Hello friends. It is a Costco shopping day. We are not at our typical Costco. This Costco looks extremely busy. We are in Denver, Colorado. We're going to see what they have at their Costco. Check on some of their prices compared to Alaska. And we have a little special shopping trip that we'll explain while we're shopping. Okay, let's get inside. Come along, it's going to be fun. It is 10 degrees at home in Alaska right now. It is 82 degrees here in Colorado, so a little bit different temperature. They do have the little carts there. It feels funny that they have these winter clothes here like we do when it's 80 degrees outside. It's gonna be winter soon. Yeah. <laughs> So right off the bat, they have a huge winter section, hand warmers, balaclavas, hats, jackets. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be winter here anytime soon, but they did say it's gonna drop pretty soon. Um, this has been an unseasonably warm fall for them. Grill, smoker, and air fryer, this is crazy. So we have a grill that's a smoker called a Traeger, but this is a Ninja wood fire electric outdoor grill yeah, smoker and, I mean, our and air fryer. Traeger takes up a ton of room on the deck and it's gotta be outside. And this is really interesting. Huh. This does say it's outdoor. Interesting. Much Powered smaller. by electricity, flavored by real burning wood pellets. That's interesting. No, that is interesting. Definitely if you had like uh, an apartment, if you had an apartment or something like that, it'd be perfect. You didn't have a deck or something. Man, Food Ninjas come out with everything. Like I know. this I don't think we own a air fryer. ninja thing. I don't, we don't. This Anyone, one's... Do you guys own any ninja products? Are they good? <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. Possible cooker that replaces 14 appliances. It says slow cooker, steam, food warmer, non-stick pot, saute pan, cast iron skillet, saucer, Steamer, saucepan, stockpot, Dutch oven, roasting pan, bread maker, integrated bread maker? spoon. Can it change baby's diapers? Can it? That's a. Put our kids to bed. Mark wants it to change diapers and put our kids to bed if it's going to do all those things. I haven't seen all those Ninja products. I feel like we have one or two, but not all of those different ones. Oh, this is a little Frigidaire ice maker. I've seen these online, but I haven't. Smaller. Nice. Yeah. It's like a pretty nice small. A lot of but cheaper too. Seventy nine ninety nine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like these three piece colander set. Haven't seen that before. Ooh, I haven't seen these before. You get two of these big eighty ounce hydration packs. Wow. Those are big. $19.99 for two. Come in a couple different colors. I haven't seen this. Okay, so I've seen these little waffle makers before, but this one has different plates that you can put in because usually you have to buy a bunch of the different ones. This has all the different plates. How fun is that? $29.99. I have not ever seen that before. Super cute. And it gives you a little storage box to keep all the plates in. Keep them in this little box here. I like that. This Costco is so big that once we're inside, it hasn't felt overly busy, but the parking lot was packed. These big liquor sections are always so different for us. In Alaska, alcohol and liquor have to be sold in a separate area. So to just see it out in the middle of the store always seems kind of strange. I haven't seen these at home yet. Some fun $9.99 for some fun decorative pillows. And these do have zippers which make them nice because then you can kind of switch them out and wash them easy. We've stopped getting peaches in Alaska. Really? Yep. $9.99 for a four pound box. Okay, we're gonna grab some peaches. 
they smell really good. We are looking for one kind of like pre-made dinner. We've got some Korean style gochujang chicken. Mark, remember that gochujang stuff we were sent? Oh. We got tiki masala, chicken, coconut curry with mango, $14.99. Lasagna soup. Interesting. I haven't seen that before. Lasagna soup for oh. $9.49. Actually, stir fry sounds good. It does sound good. You have to, I think we have rice that we can cook to go with it or something. Yeah, grab that. Yeah, $15.99. Also had some cilantro lime chicken for $13.99. Interesting, some salmon, honey smoked salmon. Sustainably raised for a happy ocean, that means farm salmon. Huh. You wouldn't, they wouldn't sell this in Alaska if people would boycott it, they would not like that. We got a Kevin's Beef Stroganoff with coconut milk and cauliflower pasta, $15.99. You never buy this kind of stuff. We just usually make it at home, but we've got our special reason for being down here, so we don't. This is usually a section we skip right over. Ooh, they've got some pretzel bites, $12.99, and Starbucks egg bites. I've actually never seen those at ours for $14.79. It's interesting looking at a lot of these packages. This is like a dog bone one, but also just like pooped out. Because we're up in Denver, it's a mile above sea level. At home, all these packages are just sucked in tight because we're right at sea level, so all these things just have so much air. It looks so different than I'm used to. Okay, bath tissue. Here's the list. Paper towels, toilet paper, cleanser, 409, cleaner, Lysol, disinfecting spray, wipes. What are these? $19.89 for some paper towels. We're gonna grab some of these individually wrapped toilet papers, $31.99. So this is way heavier than the Costco ones. There must be more stuff in it. Some disinfect blah, blah. some disinfectant spray, fifteen seventy nine. I never buy this. That's kind of expensive. <laughs> yeah, it is. So laundry. laundry pods, nineteen ninety nine. Dishwasher packs, eleven ninety nine. Toy ball cleaner, $11.99. We're gonna skip the frozen food sections for the most part. We'll look at the milk though. I always like looking at the price of milk. So milk here comes in these boxes, $7.49 for two gallons or $3.74 a gallon. At home we're paying $9.99 for two gallons, so a bit cheaper. Fruit snacks, $11.99. Box Frosted Flakes on sale for $6.29. All right. Be good. So, 24 pack of ramen, $11.69. This cart's getting full. <laughs> it's good though. For good purpose. Hey, it's Gary. Yeah, yeah but you know what? The black just the in, so I'm like, Scary, but his name is John in Colorado. Hey, can I have one of these? Of course. Sweet, thanks. Welcome. Wow. This is exactly what I was talking about. These things feel like they're gonna, they look like they're gonna burst, these bags. There's like, this, it's this air pressure. See all these chips here too? Like these ones? Not only do they look delicious, but they're like so puffy because of the, the lack of air pressure up here. We're just such a higher altitude than home. Costco Monopoly, we gotta look at this. I'd be a pro at this. This is $39.99. You get to choose from being a Costco card, a dolly, <laughs> one of their big bears, a Costco hot dog, oh, shopping cart, or a pizza. So what is their like park place? They have Seattle. Oh, these are the different stores. So, oh, they have Auckland, London, all over the world. Okay, cool. It's fun. Huh. 
So what happens when you go to jail? It says food court. Huh. Better only be a dollar fifty. No, instead of going to jail, it's on vacation oh. and then just dreaming. That's good, okay. <laughs> and then you build Costco's and you build little food courts. Oh, that's funny. That is so funny. Huh. Tire center. So what is the other? Oh, like you, the utilities or the bakery, <laughs> the deli, the different things around the... That's funny. Okay, and then so instead of the chance card, it's the Costco card. So it's like instead of having the chance or the, the draw cards. <laughs> huh. Unique. Ooh, I've never seen these ones. These are beautiful soaps. Lemon verbena, sweet orange, coconut hibiscus, white gardenia. These beautiful bottles. $12.99 for the four. needed a treat before we left. Strawberry vanilla swirl ice cream. Good. Our shopping is done. We will go back, tell you the total, and explain what most of the stuff in this basket is for. fast so we are currently in Denver Colorado because I am pregnant with twins and there have been some complications and the doctors that we needed were not available in Alaska and they were available here in Denver we have had the opportunity to get to stay at the Ronald McDonald house while we've been here which is for families that have children that are needing to stay at the hospital or seek treatment for an extended period of time. And it has been such a blessing to us to be able to stay here at the Ronald McDonald House. It, the only requirement is that you live 60 miles away or more, so we definitely reached that requirement. And it just is an affordable way to be away from home for a long period of time. And a lot of the things are done by donations here. So that's why we were buying things that uh, we can donate back to the Ronald McDonald House to show our gratitude for our stay here. Um, I'll give you a little tour inside of some of the things. And um, yeah, so that's what today's shopping trip was about. They have these wagons here to help people transport things up and down to your room. So we're gonna fill up the wagon and go donate it inside on our way up to our room. Radio flyer. Just felt so grateful for being able to stay here. It just seemed like the right thing to do to try and get back. And glad we could do it. It was so stressful and so hard. An emotional roller coaster coming down here. All the different appointments. And so it just was so nice to have this place to stay. And it's super comfortable and just really grateful for it. The what? Okay, perfect. So most of the donations we handed off to the people in the front office, but we'll show you where we're gonna put the rest. One of the nice things about the Ronald McDonald House is they have this big kitchen. They actually have three kitchens in this building and people leave food behind. So we're gonna add some to this shelf because we have found it helpful to find a few things on this shelf over the course of our stay. Everyone also gets a food locker, so you can leave some food in here. And then every room has a bin and a refrigerator. And so we're able to keep our food nice and cold. 
and they also have a house fridge and house freezer that you can leave stuff in when you need to go. We've used some butter and some milk out of there, so really, really nice. There are also certain days where organizations donate making dinner, and so we've gotten to eat a few meals provided here at the Ronald McDonald House. And one of the best things about that is you meet the other people that are in here and you can share stories and encourage each other in these tricky times. We are hoping to only be here for a few more days. That's why we only grabbed the peaches and that one meal for us. Just in case you're wondering, our total today was $207.25. We always share the total when we do the hauls. Thank you so much for shopping with us today. This was a special shopping trip. It felt very nice to be able to shop for a good cause. We are so grateful for each and every one of you, and we hope to see you back in Alaska soon. We're supposed to go home in about three days, as long as everything goes well with our follow-up appointment with the twins. So. We really hope to be back in Alaska for the next video. We'll see you guys soon.